In gate 2019, I got 49 marks and my rank was 2050. That was a bad phase for me because I left my job at Infosys and decided to take a drop year to prepare solely for gate and engineering subjects exam. I put in a lot of hard work and dedication, completed the entire syllabus, solved lots of previous year questions, and have in fact given lots of mock tests also. Despite of all these efforts, I ended up scoring pretty bad in gate 2019. My marks was 49 and my rank was 2050. And in my next attempt, gate 2020, I got all India rank 315 in ECE and 119 in gate instrument. Reflecting on my experiences, I want to share few things that will help you in improving your rank also. So without any delay, let's get started. So the first important thing is to avoid exam pressure and anxiety. No matter how well you perform in these mock tests of coaching institutes, it is useless if you could not perform in the actual exam. So the first and most important point is to avoid this exam pressure and nervousness. I have seen many toppers who consistently get top ranks in these mock tests of AS and MEDC, but they fail to get that rank in the actual exam. So the main reason is not because of lack of subject, it's just because of tackling this exam pressure. So how can you do that? One thing that helped me is taking deep breaths and doing meditation. Even in the actual exam, half an hour before they will allow you inside the exam center. So you should definitely try this deep breathing and meditation. Meditation basically helps you in focusing on the current moment and uh, it also helps you in releasing negative thoughts about the future. It is scientifically proven that deep breaths will help you in bringing more oxygen into your brain, which helps you in thinking more clearly, which also means that your focus is improved. It's a good idea to practice this meditation and deep breathing techniques, not only during exams, but also also in your daily routine then it will make it easier for you to try it during exams also so you must definitely try this meditation and deep breaths will definitely help you in calming down yourself and all these stress anxiety nervousness will be resolved so before discussing about the second point i got some amazing news for you ace academy is giving 20 percent off on all the courses of gate esc irms everything on the occasion of republic day you have to use the code republic 20 this offer is valid only for today i'll put the details in description go and check it out now the second point how to attempt a question if you does not know how to proceed i'm not going to tell this my friend ragu will explain so hey friends i am ragu i'm having a youtube channel ragu from iitm because i'm a famous scholar at iit Madras. so ajay asked me recently about making a video that's what you are seeing it right now so let's say you are in exam hall and you started approaching a problem because you thought you can solve it and after solving it for one to two minutes you realize that oh fuck i'm doing it wrong technically you got stuck so here is what you should do at that situation so that you don't waste 5 to 10 minutes on it. Your mind says try this for 1 to 2 minutes but that will not be your best bet. Instead the moment you sense your out of the problems, skip the problems or 1 to 2 easy problems, most probably 1 more questions and get answers for the problem. Because even though you are not actively solving that problem, your brain is subconsciously work on the problem that you left and then come have a look at this problem even though you won't get the answer immediately when you go back and come again frequently then you will get the problem. Ajay also doing that. See you guys and subscribe to Ajay's channel. Bye-bye. Now comes the last point. What you can do in this last one week to maximize your score. I would recommend you to try one or two mock tests, preferably tomorrow or day after tomorrow. I will definitely not recommend you to write any mock tests one or two days before the actual exam. Because if you get low marks, it will hit your confidence and you will not be able to bounce back also. So give one or two mock tests, preferably tomorrow or day after tomorrow. And in the last five days, try to revise your short notes as many times as possible. If you are able to finish all the short notes in one day, try to revise it five times. It will be improving your memory power and you will be able to solve more questions in the exam if you remember all those formulas. So try to revise short notes as many times as possible. If you feel any subject really hard and if you are not able to go through your short notes, then you can take out your main notes and finish that subject also. And in case if you have marked any questions during test series that you have already committed mistakes, you can go back to those uh, wrongly marked questions and you can have a look on those mistakes so that you will not repeat those mistakes in the actual exam. And apart from these three things, don't do anything else. I'm repeating again, short notes, main notes and the mistakes that you committed during your test series. Apart from these three things, don't do anything else. Before ending this video, if you have not joined our telegram channel where I share all the exam related updates and job notifications, make sure you check it out once. And with this, I'm ending this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Even if you don't do any of these, I thank you for watching this video till now. Take care and I'll see you all in the next video.